Hi Aquarius, welcome in to your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so let's get into it. Third week of March. What's going on third week of March for my Aquarius, please? Okay, so someone from your past with the Six of Cups back here. What's sitting in the cross is the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. And upright was the Emperor and the Five of Wands. There's a person here that's challenging your status quo. Um, this can be your boss or just a person that you're dealing with. This is somebody of significance to you because they're coming in as an Emperor. Uh, this can also be an Aries. But there's arguments, there's blocks, there's obstacles, there's competition, there's challenges. So if this is work-related, you've got some issues with this individual. And the thing that's struggling to come in is to create some form of stability within a partnership between the two of you. Because it's coming in like this. Now you're probably, not probably, you are, represented by the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who's nurturing, loving, kind, caring, but also stable, realistic, practical. And the two of cups which means you more or less are thinking of the same thing you're on the same page when it comes to mindset and it is in regards to a partnership yes it can be love yes it can be work but there's challenges here there's blocks there's obstacles there's issues and this has something to do with from the past some issue that you never took care of or it's just someone from your past now let's continue and see what's coming in towards you What's coming in towards my Aquarius, please? Five of Cups, Judgment in Reverse. Okay, somebody here, this is either you or them, somebody here feels guilty, okay? In regards to a lack of a judgment call or a judgment call that was poorly made, okay? So a decision that was made, there's some guilt, there's some regret, there's some woulda, coulda, shouldas in there. Um, others of you, it's, it's a judgment call that you regret that you didn't make. Or didn't do. Yeah, there was a, a passionate project for for a passionate new beginning in love or a passionate new project at work. It just it, did, it fell through. Uh, others of you, this is a delay. This is you know um, not getting the the good news you were expecting to to hear or see. Um, and because of it, there is this guilt and regret something that never followed through we'll see when we clarify when we get we'll get more details and we'll know a little bit more specifically what is it that Aquarius doesn't see coming their way please oh Aquarius I feel like sometimes you just like not that you don't make decisions, you do. You make your judgment calls, you do. But sometimes you try to like take a step away or take a step back and you you let the, the knot unwind itself. You're like, oh, through, you know, maybe in, if we leave the knot outside in the wind, maybe it'll get loose by itself. The reason I'm saying all of this is because you have the Eight of Cups and the, the Eight, um, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords. You're stuck. You're stuck. Some of you stuck in a marriage. Some of you stuck in your head. Um, stuck in a predicament. Stuck in a situation. Mental jail. Others of you maybe quite literally jail. But there's confusion laced to it. The right decision to make. The right path to take. The right choice to make. And there is something here with minor communication. The communication that's going on between the two of you is on a very small scale. It's on an immature level. It's not picking up the phone. It's not creating a meeting at work. It's not picking up the phone and saying, hey, let's go out and have a cup of coffee and let's talk about us and our relationship. It's none of that. It's texting. Small stuff. Trying to make a, a tough decision over here. Resisting something. Reflecting on the time and energy you spent. And you're thinking about your desires. Hoping and maybe possibly wishing that either the issue is going to resolve itself or it's going to come to you or present itself to you. But right now, it looks like you're mentally stuck and you're confused as to the right choice or the right option to take. This person, that person, this job or this job. Do I employ this person or employ that person? Do I partner with this or do, do I partner with her or him? 
let's see. Yeah. I, and the card is just flipping out just to give me more details. You're weighing your pros and cons. You're flipping through. You're like, if I do this, if I do that, you're, you're, you're going through it. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that this is, has, is happening. The guilt and regret over some choice that was not made. What's the um, advice here for uh, Aquarius, please? I might do a very quick and fast extended reading. Those of you who uh, are new to my channel that don't know, the, this is more about you. The extended is about your person on your mind. Um, we go into their thoughts and feelings for you. Uh, and then their their actions in the near future. And then we go all the way from Aries to Pisces because you're not all dating the same sun. Okay, now, advice. Eight of Cups and the Moon. So, and then you have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is being left out in the cold. Some of you, if you are a mistress or third party, that could be why. Others of you, this is talking about you having a creative idea, but you just don't feel like you have the support for it. Now, going back to your advice, you need to return to something or someone, okay, and see something for what it is. But the moon talks about being cautious because there are things playing out behind the scenes that you're not aware of. There are some details you, you are either not privy to or just you just don't know. Maybe somebody's keeping secrets from you. Maybe you, you don't have a full picture or scope of the whole situation. Either way, it's talking about you going back to something and revisiting it and looking at it, but be cautious, okay? Because you are going to be left out in the cold or you are feeling out in the cold. And this is kind of what you want to avoid, right, Aquarius? Let's see the outcome for the week. Yeah, my friends. Yes, my friends. You are my queens, whether you're male or female. King is the incoming. I don't read that for personal readings. It's just for you two because you're a large audience and we want to discern who's who. Now, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female, that is you. Well, male or female, whoever you are listening in. Uh, and the Chariot, which is Cancer, uh, in reverse. There's Pisces here, there's Sagittarius here, and there's Aries here in the major arcanos. Okay, going back to your uh, outcome for the week. You're struggling to not, I don't want to say keep it together, but you are struggling in a way mentally to kind of stay focused with your agenda, with your plan, with your situation. And it looks like your external environment is a factor in this. However, something did stop moving forward. Something did stop working for you. There is, though, this eight of wands here at the back of the deck talking about action going back and forth. Maybe some of you are throwing out your resume out there and you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to get like promotions <coughs> or some kind of new gig. Others of you, maybe it's to form a relationship that's solid. All right. But this is coming down the pike. You will mentally disengage from a situation and it is going to get a little bit better. Um, but it looks like right now this is on your plate and you got to deal with it. So let us start clarifying and see what's going on here for you guys. What is the Two of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor with the Five of Wands, please? I feel like it's a situation you want to get yourself unstuck from all right i i really do and i i also feel aquarius that you might you might be making it worse than what it is or maybe you think it's worse than what it actually really is okay because i have everything is fine back here this is betrayal this is deceit this is an ending but i have two of these in this deck this one says everything is fine that's the card that I believe for me, and I've put it out there to the universe. This is how I'm going to read it, <laughs> and it appears to me with the same train of thought. It's when you think there's an ending, but it's far worse than you think it is. 
okay, now eight of pentacles, something has stopped working or you stop putting effort into a person, a relationship or a job or a hobby. Eight of swords in reverse, trying to get yourself mentally unstuck. Knight of cups, someone here is coming forward and they're asking you on an emotional level to talk. Okay, and this is like, let's go out. Let's physically see each other. This is someone who sends a message to you. So they're picking up the phone and talking to you or they're sending you a message to somebody. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. They bring on the energy of somebody who's emotionally available, somebody emotionally mature, somebody you can have tough con um, conversations with, difficult conversations with, and they're not going to run away. They're going to answer your questions. All right. So this is going to make you feel a little bit unstuck, but there is something that has stopped working. There's a pause here. Interesting. So maybe this is the direct competition with somebody else. Continuing. What is the uh, judgment in reverse and the five of cups in reverse? Feeling bad about some decision you didn't make? Something like this. Hmm. Here's judgment again with the three of cups. Oh my God. Maybe you are dealing with an Aries king of wands, Aries emperor, page of cups, the small communication energy, reconciliation or good news making that judgment call but that's coming down the pike because what landed out here is the page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles here you are again in some weird way i feel like aquarius whoever you're dealing with all of the people in your life in general i feel like maybe you're uh, you feel like you're the um the responsible one the one uh who's the bearer of all you know the troubles here with everybody like the the mother or the father of the situation or the circumstance the nurturer the lover the caregiver the care take care of um the 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 main source everybody goes to for information for help for stability for whatever but page of pentacles in reverse it's like something has stopped working or somebody you're dealing with either a if this is a relationship you're bored you're done it's over and you need to progress or you want it to progress and you're ready to leave others of you this is work this is a, a plateau this is a peak you've learned this is the novice card you you're dealing with somebody here that doesn't want to be on this level anymore with you they want to progress they want to go higher they want to go up and you know this and you haven't said anything and you haven't done anything and you're feeling guilty about it I know I'm being very like, er, 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 but you know, tough love is tough love. I'm going to read the cards. And if this ain't you, then it's definitely them. But that's what the cards are saying. All right. But somebody here, and I don't know if this was the third party person, because you have three of cups back there, or somebody you were just seeing or talking to, or if this is work related, this is somebody trying to get, you know, network with you with good news. But this page of pentacles in reverse is a problem. It's a problem. And it's something that you got to deal with. All right, let's continue. You know, of, of course, uh, if I see rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns, I'm going to read that. But nine times out of ten, Tarot just wants to give, you know, wants our antennas to go up and be like, uh, Aquarius, you should kind of take a look at this. Or, you know, maybe you didn't consider this or think about this. But unicorns, butterflies, and rainbows and all of that. Some zodiac signs have, you know, just expect that. Where other signs, they're more like, oh, the sky's always falling. So everyone's reading is very different. And it's interesting for me to see in your reading, Aquarius, what it's focusing on for you, for at least for the week. So let's see why it thinks that you, the universe, cards, think why you're going to be stuck and confused over some kind of decision or choice that you need to make. What is the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups? So in other words, the cards read for the Zodiac in the cohort that they believe that you, you know, you need to see or you're just not looking at it. That's why I always find Tarot so fascinating. 
Okay, Ace of Wands, that's up right now, so that's a good thing. Queen of Cups, this is you. Again, the emotionally mature, loving, caring. And then I have another chariot card in reverse, both in reverse. Here's the one in the outcome, and here's the one that's falling in the position of what you don't see coming. So there is somebody you're not talking to, or there is some sort of radio silence here. It's bare minimum communication here with someone, all right? Another Pisces card, too. Oh, I have the sun under that, though. I do like that. Anyway, something stopped working between you and someone. Someone you care deeply about. Okay? And you do want... There is an opportunity here for a passionate new beginning on an, you know passionate level you know physically intimately with somebody in a relationship others of you it's work um but you feel stuck like you can't advance this i don't know if you feel bad to or you're worried over it or you you think you literally can't there ain't no can't in life there are choices only choices and those are the choices that define our path forward our journey in life so this is something you probably know you've got to deal with and you've left it just kind of lingering. Um, and this is with somebody you have not spoken with. You have not told them what your decision might actually be from what I see. Okay, what is going back? What is the Eight of Cups and the Moon, please, in the advice position? Knight of Swords, okay, Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse, yeah. All right, there is something here where there's a lack of desire, a lack of wish fulfillment. Others of you, the, the reason you need to go back and be cautious about something is that someone is behaving in a very selfish manner, okay? And they're also lying or withholding information. They're not putting all their cards on the table. This communication is going to come in quickly, but I don't know if it's going to be a lie. So I don't know who's doing this. I don't know if this is coming to you or you're the one doing this. But hearing it is going to annoy the fuck out of you, especially with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Now going back to your advice, it's saying you need to go back and look at something and deal with it. All right, but you need to be cautious. Because somebody here is going to be lying or not forthcoming or not putting their cards on the table. They're not communicating, um, but they're rushing in. Who knows what they're going to say? Or at least it's somebody you haven't been speaking with or had that genuine conversation with. Because those are the clarifiers. What's actually telling you to do is to go back. To someone, something, a situation, but be cautious because you don't have all the details. You really don't, especially with the Ace of Swords in reverse. What is the Queen of Swords and the Chariot in reverse, please? Ten of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords back here, Six of Cups, Six of Wands. This is not, there was some betrayal in the past. There was some kind of ending. There was some ghosting. There was something shady done, some kind of cheating, some kind of lying. And it has not been taken care of. It's like, you know, you put it under the carpet, but there's like a big bump over the carpet now. And every time you look at the fucking bump, you're like, shit. Or you step on the bump, uh, the bump of shit, because it's an issue that hasn't been taken care of. Uh, it's some and, and, and it's it's stopping your focus from moving forward but look what it's saying you not happy or this is either unrequited love or runner chaser dynamic so maybe some of you guys don't are like feel guilty and haven't taken care of something here that there's somebody in your life you don't no longer see yourself with right and you need to start a new chapter pick up the pieces and slowly start moving forward slowly cautiously one foot in front of the other others of you this can be something in regards to not happy with something at work 
some issue that or some offer that's being given to you and you're not really excited. Point is you really still need to start this new chapter. Because there's something that you have not dealt with. There it is. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say. If I only knew where the cards were. Be right back. They're right there. All right, romance angels, my love cards. What say you? And those of you who are members, because that's the only way you can see the extended reading, you have to join. It's worth it. You have access to everyone's extended reading. Um, forgiving and learning is here. We throw cards on top of this. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So we put more tarot, we layer over to get a few more messages. And then we do go into your person. Now let's see what the Wisdom House and Night has to say as far as advice. I love Oracle because Oracle usually ties the whole entire reading with the bow. And it's just some extra added advice. Wisdom has a knife for Aquarius, please. Thank you. We have two. Oh, wow. You have trapped. And the funny thing is, you sure as hell are trapped. Do you see that? Two cages. And then the other card message that's this there's a message definitely coming in so let's go ahead and read what they're saying because i like i said these cards always tie everything up with a nice sweet little bow all right get ready and pay attention you're about to get a message with special meaning maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out about something in a phone call from a friend perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe i shall send a sign in nature that will point you in the right direction regardless of what you ask you will soon know the answer or at the very least know the way a message is coming choose another card if you need to know what the message is all about and of course for whatever strange ass reason this is card 45 i read it out of context this must be the message trapped which is an earlier card 34 which i should have read first but i didn't so everything does really happen for a reason and that's why i follow my intuition because you should too everything usually aligns when you do all right my sweet child do you feel as if you are trapped in your own life right now yeah you probably do because of the decisions that you probably need to make do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of what you what you can and cannot fulfill? Do you feel as you will never get what you want or go where you want to go? Have patience for truly you are in a temporary prison that exists only in your mind. Mental jail, remember? Your circumstances, no matter what they are, will change and you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote. Consider the story of the half-raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally followed his heart. Trust in me, for I will show you when the cage doors open so that you can fly free. There's a beautiful raven in there. Ravens are, um, I feel like, very smart, intelligent birds, full of knowledge. Anyway, guys, this is what I have for you this week. Members, the link is down below in the description box. Everyone else, I'll see you next week.